It's amazing what a bit of sun does to the place. It's been a fantastic week here at Maiden Early, and this is a quick update for you all. Some really important events here for the Wokenham Carers Partnership. Uh, it's got a number of events coming up, as you can see below. It's got a carers event in June, which is drop-in sessions on Thursday the 6th of June and Thursday the 20th of June. One's very local at Loddon Valley Leisure Centre and the other's at Henry Street. Um, we've also got information event for carers uh, at Woodley Shopping Centre. And then there's also some more there at Loddon Valley as well. Please do take a look if you are interested. Also, just a thing that many, many people aren't aware of, and that's getting uh, support for your child with regards to free school meals. Um, this support obviously helps feed millions of children in schools across the country every single day and is a fantastic th uh, scheme that's in place. Um, your circumstances may have changed, which means maybe in year seven or eight you weren't eligible, but now you are. Um, to qualify for the benefits, your child must be in school and you must be receiving one of the following. There's a form down at the bottom there which says download the form and apply for free school meals on Wokingborough Council's website. That will take you straight there. So if you think your circumstances have changed or you are eligible for it, please do fill in the form and make use of this wonderful scheme. It's that time of the year. The exams have started a little earlier and our intention was to keep all of the year 11s through until uh, the half term. However, many of the students do want to revise from home and they're, they're, they're doing that. We can see that from their attitude and their performance in the exam so far and the, the way in which they're feeding back to us. Um, so from today onwards, year 11 students are permitted to leave school and study at home and prepare for their examinations only when the consent form has been completed. And that's really important, the consent form is there. Um, that will be checked at 9 a.m. each day for additions. You don't need to do it again if you've already done it. Um, that will allow us to account for anyone who is at home study. Um, children are still welcome to join us for our booster sessions. And of course, we need them in for their examinations. Something that wasn't an issue back in my day, I'm not going to tell you when that was, uh, is the sharing photos online. So the National College, we're trying to do these each week, um, has produced a poster with regards to the dangers of sharing photos online. Um, and you can see that there, there's risks of invasions of privacy, revealing personal details, misuse of images, uh, online grooming, pressure to please, the impact on the digital footprint that they may have. And um, so there's some advice for parents there and you can find more on nationalonlinesafety.com as well. We need to give these messages out regularly and please do remind uh, your children about safety to and from school. I don't want any of our children being involved in an accident. Um, in particular, I see it occasionally where children are crossing roads um, or not paying attention because they've got headphones in or they're using their phones. Can you have that conversation with them, please? And also we encourage children to walk or cycle. But if they're cycling, can we make sure that they are wearing helmets, please? Uh, hopefully we've got some big updates coming next week um, and we can give you more information as to the summer, the end of the summer term and what's going on uh, over the remaining nine weeks. There's lots of exciting opportunities, sports day, for example, uh, open evenings. We've got music concerts, we've got drama performances, you name it, we've got it. So I'll provide you with more information about things upcoming in the second half term next week.